what's up guys, I am Sam, today we'll be creating this cool looking cinematic title. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's create a new composition and name it as cinematic title and all of the settings are ok and then hit ok. Then you can create a new text and you can type anything that you want. Alright, so as you can see that the layer controls are off, so you can just enable them by pressing Ctrl Shift H and then you can see these layer controls and then you can just center the title and then we can just pre-compose this text layer and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. So just hit Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose and we can just rename it as text and hit OK. And now what we're going to do is use an image that I downloaded from Google, you know, just search for metal texture and you'll get something like this and you can just use that here so we'll just scale it down like that and uh, so just make sure that the text layer is above the texture and then you can set the track mat of the texture to alpha mat so you get something like this and then what we can do is create a new adjustment layer and then go to effect color correction curves and just brighten up everything and then create a mask like this and then hit F and feather it a bit just like that so it kind of gives it a gradient and then what we'll do is just take all of these layers and then pre-compose it again and we can call this metal title okay and now what we're gonna do is add a background first so what we can do is create a new solid and name it as BG and make it comp size hit OK and place it below the title layer and then go to effect generate gradient ramp and set the ramp shape to radial ramp and then hit swap colors and then we'll just change the colors so choose something like that and change the end color to like that and then we can just play with the start and end points of the ramp and this looks like a perfect circle gradient and to get it to look like an ellipse gradient we can just stretch the width of this layer like that so we get something like this now what we can do is just duplicate the metal title layer and then go to effect color correction tint or we can also select generate fill and set the color to black and then we can go to effect perspective bevel alpha and set the light angle to zero so that the light comes from above and then we can increase the light intensity and also increase the edge thickness just like that and then we can set the transfer mode of the highlight layer to add and then we can duplicate this layer and set the light angle to 180 degrees so the light is from below and then decrease the light intensity like that and also decrease the edge thickness a bit so we get something like this alright so then we can add some shadows to this title so we'll just duplicate one of the highlight layers and uh, remove the bevel alpha effect also set the blending mode to normal and we can also just rename this quickly shadow and then go to effect blur and sharpen CC radial blur and set the type to fading zoom and set the Y center value to a really high negative number say like negative 2000 and uh, then increase the amount just like that I guess that's okay and then we can just place this shadow layer below the metal title so we have this shadow maybe just set it to 6 like that and we can also add another layer of shadows just by selecting the metal title layer and select layer layer styles drop shadow and uh, just open the settings and increase the opacity set the angle to 90 and also increase the size just a touch 
all right so now what we can do is take another metal texture and drop it above everything and uh, maybe just scale it down a bit you can just press control shift so that it scales with the locked aspect ratio so we'll just scale it down like that and then set the transfer mode of this layer to overlay so we kind of get this grungy look nice and what I feel is that the metal texture is kind of very sharp so we just need to unsharp it so we'll just go to effect blur and sharpen and maybe Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness so that's a bit smooth like that I think that's okay all right, set to half, yes. All right, so now what we can do is create a new adjustment layer and then we can just go to effect, stylize, glow and just increase the radius and maybe just increase the threshold a bit, just like that. And maybe just go to the metal title layer and increase this. like that not that much yeah that looks okay alright so this itself looks pretty good what else we can do is add some particles around the title so we'll just create a new solid and change the color to light gray and we can rename it as particles and then go to effect simulation CC starburst so we have a bunch of particles and all we can do is Increase the grid size like that and decrease the size and maybe just increase the scatter like that. Also the phase. Okay. And then we can just duplicate this particles layer and then go to effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur and increase the blur radius like that and then increase the grid spacing and increase the size of the particles like that maybe just change the phase too yes and then what we can do is take both these layers and pre-compose them and we can name it as particles and then what we can do is create an obstruction so that the particles are not above the text or the title. So we'll just go inside the particles layer and create a new solid, black solid, and we can just rename it as fade and hit OK. And then double click on the ellipse tool and then hit MM and decrease the expansion and increase the feather. Just like that so we get something like this and then we can just set the transfer mode of the particles layer to add so we get something like this All right so what else I did here was to make a new adjustment layer in this composition and then double click on the ellipse tool and then go to effect blur and sharpen camera lens blur and increase the blurriness and uh, and set the mask to subtract also hit F and feather the mask like that so we have some blurriness around the edges and uh, maybe just decrease the feather yes alright so what if we want to color correct this whole title plate what we can do is create a new adjustment layer and maybe rename it as CC color correction and then go to effect, color correction, hue and saturation and then check the checkbox for colorize so we get something like this and we can just increase the colorize saturation like that and I also like to set the colorize lightness to 1 so it removes some of the dark parts of the image and then we can just change the colorize hue like that I think this looks pretty good and what I feel is that the particles need to pop a little bit 
so we can just go to the particles layer and just go to effect color correction curves and increase the brightness like that and also go to the alpha channel and boost the alpha so we get something like this and also make sure that the particles composition is below all the adjustment layers so we get something like this alright so now what we can do is create a new adjustment layer and add that vignette back so we can just go to effect color correction curves and darken everything and then we can just double click on the ellipse tool again and then set the mask to subtract and then hit F and feather the mask just like that so we kind of get that vignette and we can also do some color correction so we can just come back to the CC layer and go to effect and we can just use curves and give everything a little contrast like that and maybe just decrease the colorized saturation a bit and that looks okay alright so what if you need to change the text and also the color scheme so what you can do is go to the metal title layer and open the text layer and then change the text to something else and everything gets updated in that composition and then you can also change the colors according to the title you have so we can have something like this and also just decrease the saturation a bit and what I feel that we can just give the title more contrast and to do that we can just create a new adjustment layer in here and select the rectangle tool and create a mask like that go to effect choose curves and darken it like that and then hit F and increase the feather to smooth it out and then we just create this nice gradient alright so there's a lot of stuff that I can do and one thing that comes in my mind is to create a new solid and add some flares so we can just name it flare and hit OK then we can go to effect generate CC light rays and uncheck color from source so we get this flare and set the transfer mode to add and also just decrease the intensity also set the warp softness to zero and decrease the radius and also just place this flare layer below all the adjustment layers and uh, try to place the flare in here and maybe just decrease the intensity and go to effect blur and sharpen directional blur and set the direction to 90 degrees and increase the blur length like that and then we can duplicate this flare and just position it somewhere else like that maybe on the A and I think we should just decrease the intensity and the radius a bit more on both of these layers like that so we get something like this alright so as I said before there are a lot of things that you can do so just for example you can just go to the text layer and create a new solid and make sure it's white and set the height to maybe 6 and set the width to maybe thousand hit OK and just bring it below the text layer so that it looks like an underline and select the ellipse tool and double click on it so you get something like this and then duplicate the text layer and uh, place it above the white solid and set the track mat to alpha inverted mat and then select this text layer and increase the stroke width that we get something like this and then we can duplicate both these layers and change the position of the white solid and bring it above the title like that and we get something like this it's just an example like you can do anything with the title you can also play with the darkness of the scene so we can just create a new adjustment layer maybe and then go to effect color correction hue and saturation and decrease the lightness like that 
and also create a rectangle mask like that around the title and set the mask to subtract and then hit F feather it I can just go crazy and do whatever you want alright that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys learned something new thanks for watching and goodbye BAM